Counter-Strike, the classic competitive team-based shooter. Everyone wants to know their favorite pro config. Lag is the devil. Tweaks are taken as gospel. In this video, I will test out things I've been curious about and let my data provide some insight. I'll also take a moment to share some wisdom I've uncovered during the weeks I've put into this. Prepare to be enlightened. Enjoy. Three mercenaries left. That makes two left. Monster opposes us. First, I'll show you my specs right here, my launch options, and my video options that I use for the game. The settings that I tested were different BIOS modifications to my graphics card, core clock speed, memory clock speed, and for control, I tested it at stock with the power settings enabled. I also tested different flip queue and pre-rendered frames settings mattering on if you're on AMD or NVIDIA. The program I use to compile all this data is Bench Studio GPU 2015. I also used Fraps to gather the data from the game. This chart right here shows the minimum, average, and maximum frame rates for the settings that I've tested. And now we look at the time in milliseconds that each test spent stuttering. This graph shows the amount of time in milliseconds that frame time was variant and stuttering. This crazy graph is just the raw data of frame times. Using the previous data, Bench Studio GPU 2015 is able to create a comparable frame rate, which is almost like an average score, so you could compare tests to each other. This graph is the one that is the most important because it will take stuttering into account for our perceived frame rate. The higher the comparable frame rate is, the more smooth it appears to us as players. Most people are told online to change their flip queue or pre-rendered frames to the lowest number. Through my testing, it shows that using the lowest pre-rendered frames introduces more stuttering than the perceived amount of lowered input latency. You would think that raising your pre-rendered frames or flip queue to the maximum amount would also net you a higher comparable frame rate. My testing shows this theory to be false. Moving to the highest flip queue or pre-rendered frames to five on my AMD graphics card netted me a lower comparable frame rate than 4 and even 3, which is the default in the latest Crimson Drivers for Counter-Strike. I also ran a test using my Rocket Mouse and its light-up LEDs and my slow-motion digital camera to see if there is any input latency at 240 frames per second slow motion with the default flip queue setting at 3. This slow motion video was recorded at 240 frames per second slow motion, and I tested it with the default flip queue or pre-rendered uh, frame setting of three on my AMD R9 390X. And as you could see with every shot, I mean, I tried to make it as close as possible by pressing both the side buttons. One would trigger a profile change, which would change the color. And then the top one would be a left um, mouse click to shoot. 
and it's not really noticeable i mean i mean if you think this will affect your gameplay i mean i'll let you be the judge of that but it wouldn't affect mine i would rather have the higher frame rates and less stuttering of the default setting than force myself to use a lower flip cue at this point after all of these tests i usually play the game with light boost enabled but with light boost enabled, the whole screen looks like a strobe light and it's impossible to see. So this is at 144 hertz on my VG248QE monitor. This last part's really cool. You ever see a slow motion uh, reload? Look at that business. It's pretty cool. Yeah, put that magazine in there. Oh yeah, pull back the chamber. That's how you do it. Let us go. Monster no bothers us. 